What is going on today guys? Welcome back. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend, a happy Thanksgiving, and got some time uh, to spend with your friends and your family, and just probably eat way more than you ever should. So uh, actually the beginning of this week, it's been a minute since we've made a video. Uh, the first beginning part of this week got food poisoning, was like out for like three days Barely got well enough to make the trip back home, 12 hours, 12 hour trip back home uh, to spend with my family for Thanksgiving. Uh, so we made it home, finally feel, felt better, and now we are finally back right before Monday, Sunday kind of afternoonish. So not a ton of time, but wanted to make a video for you guys. Hopefully you guys took advantage of some Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. Uh, if you guys did not, and you still need some parts or anything like that, I will be available Monday at work. But if you guys did not already see some of the wrench work stuff that we have going on, listen to me for two seconds and then we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes, the roll cart sitting right over there. That is what we're gonna be going over. So WrenchWorks, 25% off mostly the entire website. Use code THANKS. Uh, real quick, we did restock our winter jackets in the black and gray, limited. Again, pretty much all this stuff is limited. We didn't get a ton of stuff in. We were getting close to Christmas, but the black and gray, charcoal gray jackets are in. We did get a new color. This is honestly, I don't know how well the camera's gonna do, but this is not like an, an ugly brown. Like this is a dark brown, lighter brown combo with like some copper stitching. This jacket is probably, I didn't think I was going to like anything better than the black and the gray, but this, of course, got to have the uh, American patch. We got a couple of these jackets in, so if you haven't already, these will be your, by far, your favorite jacket. They are super, super nice. Nice pocket inside there, a little extra long for when you're doing all your, your plumbing work so you, you know what's not hanging out. Uh, but anyway, ugly sweaters. You guys know every year we do an ugly sweater. Got the Peterbilt on there. This is kind of like a rendition of what it should look like at the end. Uh, you know, got some turbos, got some nitrous. Don't be the guy that has to go to a, a Christmas party with your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you need an ugly sweater. You got to go with a Christmas sweater. So go pick one of those up. And then last but not least, actually not last, but uh, restocked these all silver hats. And then not on the website, I'll put a picture up right here. We have an all blacked out camo. It's like a black camo sweatshirt uh, that should be in any day now. So all that stuff coming out, go check that out if you would. Also, real quick, UCC Ultimate Call Out Challenge right now is running a huge, massive sale. Uh, I think they're like $30 off three-day pass tickets, which is like, I think it's more than half off. I'm not really sure. But if you use my code Greg A in the checkout, that will save you even more. So go check out that. But anyway, on to today's video. This sweet blacked out roll cart that we got quite some time ago. I've got a lot of questions. It's been in the background. We've never really went over this. You guys have kind of asked me a little bit about the setup in the roll cart. We haven't really done a whole lot of tool videos. I've kind of decked this thing out. This has kind of been like my little tool project baby. It stays in the race trailer, but seeing that we're pretty much done racing for the winter. Um, uh, we took it out of the race trailer. I usually try and keep it inside. So this is kind of like my spare tool cart uh, and also mostly for the racetrack but we've kind of spent a little bit more money than we should at decking this thing out and I want to kind of go over it and I'm not going to get into the argument of snap-on versus anybody else or how much, you know, the mechanic is not made, the tools don't make the mechanic. You could do the same work with a $300 Craftsman uh, set, be better, uh, you know, tools don't make the job or, or the person. So uh, the way I kind of value tools is uh, for, I get a lot of questions about uh, what should I buy? You know, it just kind of depends on where you're at. And that's, I think, the most important thing. Like, if you're just starting out, don't go kill your bank account going to, you know, you're, you're looking at Bob and Harry down there that have been doing this for years and years and years, and you're not really settled and this and that. Just, you gotta go at your own pace. Stop letting your eyes do your spending. Um, you know, get what's best for you and your pocketbook and your skill set and grow. You know, you don't need to go out and kill yourself to get the best of the best when you're first just starting out. So uh, if you can, that's great. If you can't, there's more like, there's just plenty of tool lines that are out now that are doing a great job of not being cheap junk and not killing your pocketbook. But anyway, 
This is the roll cart that we use at the racetrack. So we're just gonna go run down it and uh, some of the cool things that we have in here for a short video for you guys, just kind of going over it. Some of the cool things that I really, really like about some of this stuff. And again, I do wanna actually point out, let me point out one other thing. Again, this roll cart got out of hand uh, and you'll kind of see why. The two toolboxes that I use on a normal basis uh, in here doing all the work, it has a mix match of everything under the sun from Craftsman, uh, Mac, Snap-on, uh, like there's some Cobalt stuff in there that I ran to Lowe's because it was the only thing open, stuff like that. So again, this is just, the roll cart's, it's its, its own special little, little thing here. So anyway, and it all kind of started when Snap-on kind of came out with these, these, they started coming out with some really, really cool colors. And this, uh, this high-vis, black color just kind of just kind of spoke to me uh and that's kind of where we've rolled with this we bought this so this was the smallest or is i believe is still the smallest roll cart that you can actually get and we're kind of outgrowing it and i think it's kind of like a perfect time uh for you guys to kind of give me some input number one on things that i don't have in here that i should have for like the racetrack uh number two uh if i can better organize this any way shape or form without actually getting a bigger roll cart which i think we are going to do we're going to upgrade to a bigger cart i was really worried about the space in the trailer and i think now we have we have some more space so anyway starting out this usually hangs on the back of it, but uh, really nice, just under hood light. It's portable, it's nice. Snap-on did a good job with this light, I think, uh, because for a couple reasons, you can remove it from the actual base and you can kind of lay it on the ground. And uh, the hooks on the side are actually pre-padded. like padded. They're really nice. Um, but anyway, top, top deck here on the roll cart. Let's go through it. Uh, these are all uh, pry bars on here, different sizes, smallest to biggest. Um, these are important for two reasons. Number one, they're really, really good scissors, which of course you're, you're gonna need to cut something. And of course you're probably, you know, you're gonna need to open up a bottle at some point uh, at the racetrack. Anyway, moving on, air nozzle. Safety glasses, because I have these up here because if they're not front and center, chances are you're not gonna put them on. So I kind of keep the safety glasses right up here. Sockets and some of these uh, ratchets here, I got in sets, like to get all these sockets, I got them in sets. So some of these are kind of like, why would you have, I mean, this is pretty, you know, you got three of each, uh, but sockets and ratchets up here, quarter, three eighths, half inch, pretty well, uh, big set, you know, I kind of have the same setup in my uh, big toolbox, kind of have these really nice uh, dividers. I do not have the mids, just have the shorts and the deeps. I kind of have this mat cut out, that way when you're traveling, they kind of sit down in there and don't move. Biggest thing, and again, it doesn't need to be snap-on, just uh, some type of scrubby wipes, because this high-vis color, Let's actually talk about why I decided, and you'll see as we get through the drawers, there's a lot of high vis in this roll cart. So I went with this color one because it was new, I thought it was cool, and I also realized at the track, light is limited, you're gonna be doing repairs, you're probably gonna be in the dark. Now this color, I will give it one thing, uh, it gets dirty very, 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 very easily. Uh, you can just see right here, it's still not really clean, but you can see it in the dark, it's very easy to find if you're throwing stuff, doing stuff in a hurry. So that's kind of some of the reason why we went with the, with the high vis. But got our uh, big breaker bars over here in half inch, and then we've got all of our extensions um, and swivels, stuff like that over here. Uh, one other thing that I was kind of going through this before I started, right here. This is a 15 millimeter swivel impact for all you third gen guys who have ever taken off your rear drive shaft and you're kind of like getting ready to do a lot of transmission stuff like this. This on a gun will let you get your rear drive shaft four bolt, uh, 15 millimeter bolts out very, very, very quickly. So I would say that's a good uh, recommendation for uh, kind of like an individual tool set right there. I have that kind of guy just hanging out right there uh, for rear drive shaft stuff. So uh, I believe that kind of concludes the uh, the top section here. Moving on, our first drawer down. And again, I think on my first two drawers, 
are kind of a little bit of a wasted space. Uh, this is all metric up here. We got eight through 19. Uh, these are blue points, oh, one's out of the. So yeah, like I said, I didn't even get snap on wrenches here. Blue points, I think will we'll do the job. So we got blue point, uh, you know, metric wrenches, and then we have um, ratcheting wrenches over here on this side. Again, eight through 19. These are the ones with the handles on them. They're not really reversible. They're a little angled. Uh, I believe these were kind of like a set on a good deal, so I went ahead and picked those up. That is drawer number one. You can see how new this roll card is, like the detents in here are still hard. Second drawer down, standard 3 eighths through one inch, and then on the ratcheting, kind of like the same thing, they three quarter down through 5 sixteenths. Uh, and here, this is kind of like a new snap-on blue point. These are meant for aluminum fittings and what they have is they have this plastic um, wrap around them which is kind of replaceable so if you mess up uh, the plastic which this one down here number six number six already bit the dust I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna blame this one at, at Michael at work I don't know what he was doing I think he was hungry um, I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure what happened with this but they do I haven't used them a lot personally to say whether they're great or not I like the concept of them uh, so we're gonna see if they stay in the test of time obviously this one did not but again I have a replacement for it just not on me I don't, again, the, the aluminum fittings are not supposed to be super, super, super tight. Um, but again, I'm not sure. Verdict's still out on these, but it was a good deal. Um, I picked them up, so I wanna see how they work. Moving on, third drawer down, not a whole lot to say about wrenches. I mean, you need them, the ratcheting wrenches, the ratcheting wrenches, you gotta get the ratcheting wrenches. Those are really nice. Moving down, gotta pull these drawers kinda hard. Screwdrivers, uh, this is kind of like the biggest set that the Snap-on makes uh, for everything. I really do like Snap-on uh, screwdrivers. Again, a screwdriver is a screwdriver, but they are really, really nice. So, screwdrivers, high-vis. Picks, got to have some picks. You never know when you're going to need to, uh, you know, get an O-ring off or something like that. Picks are always a good thing to have. Got a butane torch here. Again, basically what happened, what, what happened was Snap-on came out with this color and then every time the truck comes by, they have something new in high vis that I'm like, well, that would match the rest of it. So that's kind of, that's kind of where everything is. So uh, butane, a torch, soldering iron. This is a pretty cool kit. Comes with all of the different uh, attachments and kind of keeps everything on there. It actually can be a mini torch as well. And of course, in high vis. Uh, at the racetrack, you guys know, uh, you're probably gonna have to make some sort of electrical repair uh, every once in a while. So that is where that stuff kind of played into. This right here, my friends, if you are starting out, I believe should be a big purchase. Like this kind of comprises almost every little specialty Allen Torx, um, just a lot like it's this set even has inverted torques. I'm not sure if this has a part number on it. All right, found the part number for you guys. That is the blue point part number here. So uh, this thing again, torques extended, long, quarter, three eighths, Allen's. Uh, this has a lot of stuff in one kit that's priced really, really well. So recommend go checking that out. This is also a really, really awesome thing to have. This is all of like the small bits, stuff like that. And then I got the snap-on screwdrivers uh, that can kind of be reversed and stuff like that. These are really nice. They're like ratcheting screwdrivers. So that is this drawer. Use that a ton just on little stuff. All right, this is where it kind of gets a little messy. So we got, got, our, got, our, got our big big hammer down here, got some cutoff wheels, uh, got the tire pressure gauge, good. Got a good tire pressure gauge. Um, this is a lot of the stuff that has to do with like the grinding, so, uh, grinding sanding. Uh, this is like a buffing stuff kit that came with one of the things in the, in the next drawer down. Some cutoff blades, uh, some tools, drill bits. And then of course, you know, some needle nose, some dykes, strippers, pliers, uh, some gloves. All right, this is the big drawer. This, my friends, is the big drawer that is basically overcrowded, not enough room, um, and has a couple different challenges in it. So again, 
the high vis it got me i'll admit it you know but uh anyway impact wheels and tires a drill for you know who knows what uh got the quarter inch ratchet the two three eight size ratchets flashlight sawzall and then on the small ones, we got the small drill for the tight spaces. We got the uh, small little impact uh, for small spaces. This would be, uh, this is actually like the uh, the buffing, cutting, like grinding, like uh, much different from this other impact. Um, so this is really, really nice too for like screws and hardware, stuff like that. So uh, went ahead and, you know, the high vis, the high vis got me on that one, but, the one thing that kind of stinks, and you guys can kind of see, like this, this thing is pretty full, uh, is right here, here's the chargers that I had to actually take out so I could kind of reorganize. So normally, this stuff right here, I'll show you exactly where it normally sits. Shoot, it normally doesn't sit on the ground like that, but that's what I get for trying to do it all with one hand, normally. Normally where this stuff goes is right here, which kind of stinks because when you're working, it's in the way. But this is not a permanent location toolbox to where it gets set someplace. This is normally in the race trailer. Now, the new bigger size roll carts, and one of the main reasons that I'm thinking about stepping up in size because of this lack of space here, is they do actually have the uh, the charging port up top here. And with the additional space, I might be able to kind of rework some of this. And I think it actually does have a little bit bigger drawers. The biggest thing was these sockets, I don't believe will fit down in these drawers. Um, I might have to get a bigger one or something like that. Again. I'm not an expert, but the sockets up top here kind of was how I thought it would be best. But I would like to have some batteries and some charging stuff up here. So that's a little bit of the challenges that I have right now. Now, another purchase that I thought was pretty cool that they just came out with are these neck lights. So what you do is, see if I can do it one-handed here. Let me grab this thing. Ba, 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 ba. Got these neck lights that you can point up. These have actually came in uh, really, really handy, uh, and they're really bright. Like these things are super bright. You can have both hands, both hands. But these things are super. These things are super nice. They're super bright. They let you have both hands, and they're a little bit different, uh, less conventional. Or I'm sorry, they're different from the conventional headlamp, which I still have. I still have a headlamp, but the neck lamp. The neck lamps are cool too. All right, this thing right here. This thing is another really, really cool thing that Snap-on has. So you got this light, right? Just looks like a normal light. If you press that button, the light comes on. It'll shine down over the top of your toolbox here, uh, but also comes with this little sensor here. So when you are rolling your cart out, oh, I have something on here. Oh, I just gave it away, son of a gun. All right, let me see if it redoes it. I don't know if it will. So you roll your roll cart out and you pop the lid and you're like trying to fumble around. You're trying to find that light. This thing actually automatically comes on when it senses that that lid has been lifted off. And it does have a timer in case you decide to turn it off just like that. And then you can go ahead and pop it on once you guys can see. But it's really, really nice that it has a little sensor on it. So when you open it up, boom, automatically pops on. I think some of the newer carts, uh, I'm sorry, some of the bigger toolboxes already have that. So just little cool things. Uh, that make the roll cart uh, kind of cool in my opinion. So got another light right here, of course. Got to always have a light, light handy. You always need a light. That is pretty much going to wrap up the uh, roll cart tour. Again, wasn't meant to be super, super long. I know I probably kind of rushed through that thing a little bit. Uh, but if you guys have any suggestions, any questions, leave them down below. I will get back to you guys. Um, I think a lot of my storage issues, uh, and again, I just kind of went through it off camera. Just I'm like, how can I even make this a little bit better? I think these first two drawers with the wrenches could probably be combined if I had just a little bit more drawer space. Um, again, maybe some of the sockets could come down into the drawers with a little bit bigger box. So again, the bigger box is, come on, is on the list, I believe. But let me know 
Uh, before we go, I was looking at, I'm like, on this first gen, I'm like, we gotta be able to do something here that is gonna take a little bit of time. Uh, so this bug guard, bug shield, whatever you wanna call it, this thing right here, I believe, I believe that's something we can do relatively quickly. Technically, it'll be the first thing that we're doing on the new truck, taking off the bug shield. All right, well, we removed one bug shield to, uh, to find another one right behind it. And uh, maybe I should have waited till we uh, could wash this thing off, but uh, that is why I am not a huge fan of anything that stuff can get trapped in. Uh, it just really just sits there if you're not really, really good about cleaning it all off. But uh, technically the first thing we removed from the first gen, Grandpa Bug Shield, she's gone. So that's gonna do it guys. Make sure you guys head over to wrenchworks.com, check out all of that stuff. We actually will have a couple other things scattered throughout, I would say the next month or so. So make sure you guys stay tuned for some of that new stuff, but go ahead and check out that stuff now. Uh, grab that stuff for Christmas. That This stuff now is about the only stuff we will have in time to get to you for Christmas. So uh, don't sleep on it if it's stuff that you guys are gonna wait for a gift. Quantities are super, super limited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back to normal schedule tearing trucks apart here very, very soon. Thankfully, I feel better from that food poisoning. Man, that was rough. But that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you. See you guys soon. See ya.